Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, uh, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. And um, uh, this morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts with the words intentional accidents. Intentional accidents, or you might choose to call it deliberate accidents. I, I, was, I was working with a, a very big man, and um, we were working somewhere. I was quite a young little boy. I was working with this uh, big man, and then all of a sudden, he, he literally yanked me from the, the place where we were walking and I went and fell somewhere else. And I was, I was, I was very upset with him. And, uh, and I said, oh, why, why did you pull me? Why did you push me uh, this way? Why did, you, why did you yank me and make me go and fall down this thing? And then he, he, he looked at me and, you know, he, he speaks the Akan language. And then he said, Misheda, that means I intentionally yanked you. From, from that place. When he said that to me, I was the more angry and the more, probably the more uh, furiated, infuriated because like, what? I mean, why did you push me? It was totally unnecessary. And then he said to me, look where I pulled you from. And then when I looked out there, there was a snake, you know, um, lying on the grass uh, at, that, at that particular place. And I might have walked into, into that snake so he intentionally pulled me out of harm's way. He intentionally yanked me out of harm's way in order for, to be able to save me from a greater danger that was ahead of me. Have you read the story of Balaam? When Balaam, in Numbers chapter 22 to Numbers chapter 24, when Balaam was insistent, you know, Balaam, because of the layer of money and because the price had, had been raised and the ante was up, you know, Balaam managed to say, Lord, you know, you got to let me go. I goes, okay, you go. But on the way to, to do what he was asked not to do first by God, the first time by God, the Bible said an angel of God stood there with a sword drawn, with an adversarial intention, and with the intention to do him harm. And his donkey saw the, the angel, but Balaam did not see it. And so, and Balaam was insisting that the donkey should go, and the donkey didn't want to go until, in frustration, the donkey crushed Balaam's feet against the wall, and uh, Balaam hit his feet. So you can imagine uh, Balaam hobbling and, and jumping and, and screaming and raging mad and raving mad and saying, "I got you out, 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 out! You, have, have you seen that you've crushed my my feet against the wall?" And the donkey said, "Yes, I did it deliberately. It was in front of you is danger." You know what? Is it possible that sometimes God crushes our feet against the walls because we're not hearing? Is it, are there some intentional accidents that God allows us just to uh, jerk us up or jolt us up out of our reveries of foolishness? Is it possible that God intentionally unleashes certain things so for us to be able to wake up and in order to save us from a greater danger ahead, God will use little things like donkeys to crush our feet against the walls of life. Is it possible? I think so. Because if it happened for Balaam, it can also happen for you. Sometimes there are some accidents that are intentional. There are some things that God releases those things in order for you to be able to learn and for you to be able to wake up. And sometimes God uh, uh, brings certain things our way in order for uh, the reality of who we are to hit us. Just like he did for Jacob. It took an approaching army from Esau for Jacob to be so desperate that he came to a realization of who he was. I think so too, that sometimes that's what happens. Because sometimes we are so obsessed with our goals, we are so obsessed with what we want that we can't see reason. And we can't see, and left on ourselves alone, we'll go ahead and do it anyway. But you know what? Sometimes, he will allow certain accidents, or he will allow certain events, certain adversarial events, certain painful events, that will make us jump and be hobbling in pain, so that he will save us from the greater danger. Well, 
I mean, Balaam recognized it and quickly made a U turn. I'm not so sure that sometimes we are hard of hearing, and sometimes it takes more greater divine accidents for us to recognize that we are out of order. That's what it is. Anyway, the choice is always yours. See you later.